In this month's Gibbs Cam Tech Tip, I'm going to show you how and why to use the Pack and Go utility. Pack and Go creates a temporary shareable file that replicates the exact visual environment of the programmer, basically a zip file with a GCPKG extension for Gibbs Cam package. This is extremely useful when sharing files. For example, when you send a Pack and Go to tech support, they can see exactly what the programmer sees, aiding in quicker response time. It's also useful for sharing machine simulation with a machinist prior to running a part on the machine. This is also how we recommend you sending part files when requesting post-processor modifications. Let me show you how easy this is to create. In the File pull-down window, in the Exchange section, select Pack and Go. Please be aware of any proprietary considerations before sharing any parts or environments with others. For example, you may have a non-proprietary part, but its associated post or machine sim files might be subject to license or non-disclosure agreements. If that's the case, use selected files, pick and choose what you wish to share. Otherwise, select all files, create package, and say save. It's as simple as that. Now, depending upon the complexity of the part file is how long it takes to create the package. When this is done, I'll show you how to load a pack and go file. I will close this part file and explain. There are a few different ways to load files into Gibbscam. Under the File menu, you can actually see past package files that were opened, or select the Open. Or in the Document Control window, we have an Open button. In the lower right-hand corner of the window, we need to select the file types to view. Gibbscam Package Files is the second one down. Select your package you wish to load, and say Open. Otherwise, simply drag and drop the Gibbscam package file onto the open window. You will be prompted, package contains user interface changes. Do you want to apply them to the current user interface? Yes or no? If you select yes, this is when you will see exactly what the programmer has been seeing. Please note that in the document control dialog, there is only one machine that is loaded. That's because this is a temporary environment that will be automatically deleted when you close the part file. So all the files, the toolpath, machine simulations are all in the package. So if you have any questions on using Pack and Go or anything else Gibbs Kim related, please reach out to your local reseller. They are ready and surely willing to help. Thanks and have a great day.